Okay, we're gonna get a quick demo of Bliss x86 booting. Android Oreo 8.1. Food animation's a little skewed weird, but not that bad. Hey Willow, can you turn that down or not? Thank you. Just do that. Wi Fi is connected. And taskbar should have been installed, but it doesn't look like it made it this round. Oh, maybe it is open. Okay, we'll set this up then. Come down here, select that, select that, enable the nav bar buttons, automatically hide. Uh, let me go back here, freeform program. Always save. Come over here to recent apps, expand area with white space, and we will select something that's not there. Running apps only. Change it to dark theme. Come over here. Let's make this a grid. And we don't need it to collapse. Launch on boot. Good to go. And we'll select always. There we go. From settings, we can also do that. Whoa, this. We will try to relaunch settings and see if it does that again. Okay, good. This is why it's still in beta. Come over here, we got Bliss ROMs uh, 8.1, running on kernel 4.9.54, and running Mesa 17.3 on an Intel HD 520 Skylake GT2. Uh, this pretty much is what you're gonna get out of the box. A lot of other distributions right now are having a lot of slowness issues. Um, we're not really seeing that on Bliss. I don't know why they would be having slowness issues. Ugh. We will pull this out. 
plug in the Xbox gamepad here. Give you guys a quick demo. There we go. Close it first, and then we'll reload it with the gamepad plugged in. We'll see if this thing actually works. And you can come over here and collapse this when you're in the game too. It just moves it to the corner there. And we'll spawn now. This is why I don't play video games. I suck at them. I don't know why it keeps on doing that yet. I'll figure it out though. Grid view seems to be working good for these. That's good. And uh, I guess that's our quick demo.